Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Fan Art Friday. In this video, I'm drawing Genos from One Punch Man. Uh, last week, I drew Saitama, and I really, really wanted to work on another fan art drawing, and so I chose this awesome character. For the outlines of this drawing, I drew over my initial sketches with a number 8 Pigma Micron pen. Uh, this is 0.5mm, and I think it really works well when you want to create the thick lines and the thin lines. Um, it works especially well when you want to draw hair, because um, you can really taper the line off and uh, create some really fine lines. And once the outlines were drawn, I used Copic markers for the colouring. Um, for the skin tones, I used uh, pinkish white and blush. And I also used a little bit of uh, like a powder pink uh, around like the lips and the nose, um, and then from there I was able to add some highlights with a highlighter pen. Um, I use a Uniball Signo Broad pigment ink white pen that works really well when you want to add highlights to a drawing, um, especially for like highlights in the eyes and the hair. And like, in this case, I put a highlight on the tip of the nose, um, and I think that effect works really well when you want to make a character stand out. For the shading of the eye, I used cool grey number 3 and cool grey number 7. And then for the colour of the iris, I used acid yellow and canary yellow. Um, and then, as you can see, I added some more highlights. Um, I added a highlight to the centre of the eye and along the lower lid. When you want a character to stand out, I think it's really important to add highlights like this, um, especially to the eye. For the colouring of his hair, I used canary yellow, uh, sand and milky white. I kind of blended them all together uh, to create this really nice colour. Um, and then after that I added shading with the cool grey markers again. Um, and I also used a black marker um, to really add some shading, some dark shading to the left and the right sides. I left one section of the hair completely highlighted and actually added some extra highlights over the top of that. Um, and I think this was really effective in making the hair stand out um, and it kind of kept to the anime style. For the shading of his clothes I used um, the cool grey Copic markers again um, and I added some darker shading with the black uh, to just really add um, some darker tones around some of the uh, undersides of some parts of the clothes. And I really tried to use the markers to add shading and folds in the fabric that you'd expect. I wanted his arms to be visible in this, um, and as he's a cyborg, I thought it would be really cool to um, really try and add a lot of dynamic shading and uh, some solid blocks of shading to try and give that metallic effect. I had so much fun trying to add the different levels of shading, and I think it was quite effective in the end, um, especially when I added some really dark black shading towards the lower uh, part of the arm and kind of shaded that upwards. And that kind of pushed them into the background and helps create the illusion of the drawing being a bit more 3D. Once all the details of the character were completed, I added a coloured background with a cardinal Copic marker. And I added some kind of lightning effects in the background with the highlighter pen. I think this is a really effective way of showing his power. And it's kind of relevant to him being a cyborg with having like electrical effects in the background. Overall, from the initial sketch to the final drawing, this took about just over four hours to complete. Um, I really want to know what you think, so please tell me what you think in the comments below, and I'll be sure to read through them. Um, as always, if you enjoy drawing videos like this, or if you want to learn how to draw, then feel free to subscribe to my channel, uh, and any likes or shares on this video are hugely appreciated. It really means a lot to me, and it helps the channel so much. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, uh, or if you want to follow along with the progress photos throughout the week, then please check out the links in the description box below. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel, it really means a lot to me and I absolutely love working on these drawings and posting these videos every week. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all soon.